In this video, we will see how to handle lower, upper and mixed cases in SQL queries. This video is for beginners. Uh, if you are already familiar with SQL, it's going to repeat of uh, what you already know. So moving on. I uh, have taken the employees table, select star from employees. So if you see here the name, first name, last name is uh, right. You see S's in caps and all the other uh, characters. In their first name is in lower case. We say this is called init cap, whereas the email, everything is in the upper case. Same with job ID as well. So first I will uh, quickly run through the different options that we have. So I can say select lower of first name. Let's see what happens. And then let me say upper of first underscore name. And then uh, I'm going to use init cap and then say it for email. Okay. And uh, let's print the original values as well from employees table. So if you see here, uh, since I've used the lower case, you'll see all the characters are in lower case. Whereas the original data, in the original data, the first character is in the upper case. And if we use the keyword upper, you will see everything in the upper case. And the same with init cap as well. So email initially, it's all in upper case. I will use init cap and then email. So this is how we basically convert the uh, characters uh, uh, in the database, right? Uh, the string varchar two fields from one case to another case. We can use the lower, upper, and init cap. So going back, right? Why where we'll be using it mostly is in terms of when we run the SQL queries. Let's say when I'm going to retrieve a name, person by name, Lex or Dan or John for that matter. Uh, if we are not sure about the case, whether how the data is stored in the database, we can always, we will always use this function in the where condition. So I can say select star from employees where I can for, do a force conversion and then I can say lower of first underscore name equal to John. Right, so now I get all the Johns irrespective of the, even though it's uppercase. So if I give the exact, let's see what happens if I don't use the lower of first underscore name. I just say where first name equal to uh, let's say J O H N. Let's see what happens. Yet you don't get any record because this O whatever you see it should be in the lower case. So if I change it to lower case J O H N and if I try to run it, it works fine. Right. So if we are not sure how the value is stored in the database, then in Oracle people generally right force the conversion in the var condition and say lower of first underscore name equal to John. The drawback with this when you, the drawback or the limitation people might ask you what will happen if I use lower of first underscore name. If there is an index in the first underscore name field, then the index won't be used and Oracle will go for a full table scan. So what I mean by full table scan is Oracle will look for all the rows in the particular employees table to see the matching rows. It won't go and check the index first. So that's the limitation if we force a lower uh, in, your, in our var condition. So to use an index along with the lower, we have to create something called function based indexes. So if we use function based indexes and created a function based index on the lower of uh, using the lower first name column, then that particular function based index will be used. So the so basically when we develop an application, we always make sure that when I insert the data into the table, we maintain the specific case. So what we mean by that is always when I save the first name before saving the data in the first name column, we always have it in the init cap and then only save the data. So if I have to either update or uh, 
update the first name or the last name we ensure that the data that gets into the database in the init cap so every time we retrieve i always know that it will be in this specific scenario so i'll just convert the comparison string to this specific case and then i will do the comparison so this is just a quick video on how to use the case conversion functions thank you